Hmm. I can't believe I'm stuck here. Uh, well, I guess that's unlucky. The one time I wanted to go out for a business meeting and it turns out that it's snowing. Too heavily for me to go outside too. I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with uh, staying in. Hmm. It's kinda cold. Maybe I should turn on the fireplace. Nah, I'm sure it'll be fine. I can just put on a heavy coat. Mm. Who are you? Okay. Nice to meet you. Who are you? Saying your name again won't help me figure out who you are. Am I supposed to know you? Ah, I see. That makes a little bit more sense. Well, what are you doing here? Eat. Okay, so you're telling me you came here to hang out with my little brother before he actually got home. And now he's not coming home because of the snow. So you're just stuck here? Okay, alright, um, I guess that's fine, it's not a big deal, Patrick was never one to plan things out well, was he? Okay, well, I guess you're in my company now, aren't you? My name's August, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I haven't heard much about Patrick's friends, so it's nice to finally see one. I was beginning to think he didn't have any. <sighs> it's just jokes. I know, my little brother is quite the popular kid. He takes after his older brother in that regard. <laughs> me? Yeah, I'm pretty old. Well, I'm, I guess I'm not that old, but I'm, I'm getting up there. I'm a real adult in what, you guys are 19, 20 maybe? Mm. Yeah, I'm 28, so forgive me if I tend to think while legal, you guys are still children. Or at least he is. I haven't seen much from you, but you look a little too mature for him. That's not what I mean. I just mean your beauty is of an acquired taste. And I don't think he's wise enough to have acquired it. I, on the other hand. Well, you get the idea. So just friends, huh? He hasn't made a move on you or anything? Oh, come on. It's not a big deal. I'm his older brother. I can ask questions like that. I can get them out of him if you'd prefer, but you're here and he's not, so might as well ask, right? Well, the snow's coming down hard, so I can't really imagine him coming home for the next couple hours at least. 
So we've got plenty of time to get acquainted. I hope you will choose to spend that time wisely. Why do I say you should spend the time wisely? Well, I was raised right, so at the end of the day, it isn't up to me. I just go along for the ride. And if that ride happens to be riding, well, I may enjoy it a little bit. Oh, calm down. We're both adults here. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. You guys have never even jokingly flirted before? How inexperienced are you? Wow. That's a first, I guess. You're of a traditional sort. Just haven't gotten around to it? That sounds closer to a friend of Patrick's. Me? Well, I don't want to brag or toot my own horn or anything, but I've been around a time or two. Enough to know when somebody desperately needs something that I can provide. Your reaction tells me I'm right. Do you like him? <laughs> well, if you fancy him, let me tell you, the sequels are never as good as the original. <laughs> Why don't I show you how a real man does it? He'd be too scared to make a move anyways. That's probably half the reason you're as inexperienced as you are. Though I can't blame you. He's been scared of that kind of stuff for his whole life. I'm starting to think he's a little gay. Which is... Not a bad thing. Just the only reasonable explanation to turn down somebody like you. Or not even think about it for that matter. I haven't heard anything from him. It feels like he would have at least told me, but... No. Maybe he knew I'd try to get my hands on you. And he wouldn't be able to stop me. Or, I guess the more accurate explanation is he wouldn't be able to stop you from coming to me. <laughs> well, tell me, am I spot on or what? Oh, so he told you about me, but he didn't give me the privilege of knowing about you. How funny. What did he tell you? Ah, stay away. He's dangerous. He doesn't have time for kids like you. Jeez. What a weirdo, right? Sure, I may be a little busy, but... For a fine flower like you... I'll make all the time in the world. Trust me. I wouldn't lie about something like that. Say what you will about my little brother. But he inherited his truthfulness from me. He learns from the best, after all. Look, how about you go back upstairs, you go into my room instead of his, 
You'll find it. It's just across the hall. And you get ready for me. I'll be up in a couple minutes. And I expect you can understand what kind of dress code we'll have. It's not hard to figure out. And judging by your luck, something tells me you've already figured it out. And you're just as on board as I am. So, run on up. I'll be right behind you. I'll just give you a sec to prepare for me, if that's okay.